It's Madden NFL 24, and it's presented by EA Sports. It's the Seattle Seahawks Cowboys, coming up next. DA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Lone Star State and the very mammoth AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Today we've got an NFC matchup on tap as it'll be the Seattle Seahawks taking on the Dallas Cowboys. Up in the booth with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and kick off straight ahead, CD. What's one thing that you're going to have your eye on? I think about what the great coaches of the past always said, the key to any ball game. Can you rush theirs and protect yours? Well, in this case, both of these teams get after the quarterbacks. I'm watching the pass rush. Set for football now at AT&T Stadium. Brandon Aubrey has the honors, and we are underway here in Arlington. And the opening kickoff will not be returned, as that will be a touchback. So out come the Seahawks now for their first possession. And they're led out by their mobile quarterback out of West Virginia. It's Geno Smith. Every time he leads his team out, there's no questioning. He's put the work in to earn his place in the NFL. There's no shortage of stories we've heard throughout his career about the effort he puts in to be in this spot. And that motivates everybody on his team. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Throwing now is Geno. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. That's kind of a double whammy. I mean, the interception on the opening drive, that's one thing. But to give him this field position, that's another. Absolutely perfect start for this defense. They take the ball away on the opening possession. They know that their offense will get the ball to start the second half. They line them up in field goal position. And to me, they got a chance for a touchdown right here out of the gate. First look at the Cowboys offense as Dak Prescott gets ready to guide them. And how about the toughness of Dak Prescott? We see it all the time on the field. And remember when he had that serious ankle injury, would he return to form? Boy, did he ever. And he was better than ever. And that's great for the NFL. Terrific resilience, playing at a high level, capable of winning a championship with his arm and his legs. Ball on the 28-yard line. Here's second and three. Here's Prescott. He gets it to Cooks. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. Play fake. Here's Prescott. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. I like the play call. Go to the play action. See if you can sneak your tight end out there and find him open in the end zone. And just defensively, they weren't fooled and able to bat it away. Second and ten. Now Prescott. Turned it here over the middle and stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. 19 yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. 
And the opening drive, it continues, Charles, to be all pass, and it's working. Now they're on the doorstep of a touchdown here, first and goal. Brandon, because it's working so well, I think the entire playbook is open for them right now. Do you want to run it? Do you want to continue to throw it? Spin the dial, make your choice. But right now, you like what you're doing in this possession. Dowdle will take this into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. We know that the big guys won't get the credit, Brandon, but we also know that that touchdown belongs to them. Excellent job of clearing the way for their running back. Brandon Aubrey now for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 7-0 Cowboys. So that drive spanned five plays. And it ends with a three-yard scoring run. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. Eskridge going to keep this one in the end zone, and they'll start at the 25-yard line. Seattle's offense coming back onto the field, ready for their second drive. Now remember the last time out, they threw the interception. That led to the touchdown, so now time to regroup. It certainly is, and their goal right now as they go back out on the field, a calming drive, something that takes the ball, keeps it for a while, lets the defense relax a little bit, lets the offense regain confidence in their game plan. So give them five yards there on the pitch and catch, and that will bring up second down. They'll fake the handoff. Now Smith. And this one too low. He released that awkwardly. It almost looked like a pitcher who gripped his fastball a little too hard and let it go late and it bounced in front of the plate. Yeah, one of those fastballs that ends up at 57 feet, not 60 feet, 6 inches. Just a little short with the arm, which is unusual because we saw him in warm-ups. He's got a big, strong arm when he delivers it with confidence. Here's Smith. Pressure gets there this time for the sack. Chauncey Golston in there to get him for a loss of nine yards, and that also leads to fourth down. And they weren't in zone coverage. They were in man, and each man did his job. And that looked like vintage, old-school coverage, didn't it? Man coverage reminded me of an old Raiders team that had a Hall of Famer at one corner and a defensive player of the year at the other, and they just locked people down. The Seahawks will call on Michael Dixon on fourth down to pump this one away. Deep to return is Kevante Turpin. Fair catch called for and made at about the 32-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Throwing. Prescott. This throw left side is caught by Tobin. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. It's a gain of 34. That is the exact right play call against that defense. So a hat tip to the offensive play caller because he won that part of the chess match. But give credit to his players as well. They won the execution part of it. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10, just outside the 30. Here's Prescott. Incomplete. No receivers open downfield, so instead of forcing the ball to the sideline, he's going to throw this one down to Fort Worth. He'd rather have the incompletion than the turnover. Here's second and 10. Prescott to throw it. 
A short one there taken in by Ferguson. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Now Prescott. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. So on fourth down, Prescott off and on his Aubrey for the Cowboy field goal. From the left hash, this from 46. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle, and that will extend their lead even further. So a touchdown on their opening drive, and three more here, and it adds to their first quarter lead. Yeah, everything's going according to plan so far because the offense has moved the ball, defense able to do their job, and here the special teams unit comes through with their contribution. A field goal to make it 10-zip. So after the made field goal, 10-0 here early as the kick's away. Eskridge going to keep this one in the end zone, and they'll start at the 25-yard line. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Geno down to throw. That's going to be complete on the sideline, but you know, that throw left him no room to run, and the good footwork nearly all for none. The result, only four yards there on the play, and it's second down. If you run an out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up, and making sure it was a catch. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. Here is third and five. Smith. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. An effective seven yard third down conversion. This offense is starting to get into rhythm. A nice quick throw there on target, able to pick up another first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Quickly out wide to Eskridge. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. From the 41, here's second and six. Play action, it's Smith. That's to the sideline and incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just yeah. lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. To the air again, Smith. And he will go down, a Cowboys sack. Damone Clark able to get him down for a loss of 11. And it brings up fourth down. Well, he was really focused downfield, but there was really no viable options. The coverage was too good. And the defense really quickened the tempo of that play with their pass rush because there was nowhere for him to go with the football. The only place he ended up, down on the ground. Now here's Michael Dixon as he'll kick it away for the second time.
And good work bringing that one back as he picks up about 16 on the return. And they will take over first and 10. Dallas offense set for this next drive. They're looking sharp out early to a 10-zip lead and looking for more as they've got it first and 10. To throw is Prescott. It's caught left side by Cooks. From just across the midfield stripe, here's second down and three. Looking to throw, Prescott. Oh, he'll want that one back, incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department, third down. Slants are so tough to cover because everything happens so fast, but sometimes it happens too fast for the guy catching the ball because all of his movements have to be quick off the line of scrimmage, and then all of a sudden the ball's right on top of you. And maybe he got a little bit ahead of himself there. Yeah, a lot of times coming in with good pace, and he dropped it. He'll get this to his running back, Dowder. So nothing doing there. And that'll bring up fourth down. They tried to swing it out left into the flat, but the defense, they were very principled there. It felt very West Coast offense, didn't it? You know, you know their expression, right? On a West Coast offense, when they throw the ball, it's either going to be a touchdown or a check down, meaning they like to press it downfield. If they don't have it, swing it out, which is exactly what we saw there. But how about the great pursuit and tackle to make a nice play? Seattle again getting ready to take over offensively. It's still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. Let's we'll see if they can do better here on this drive. They'll run with Walker to begin the drive to about the 35, second down. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want, but on the defensive side of the ball, you scramble a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? They'll fake it. Now Smith. And he's got Smith and Jigba. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 22 yards there, a first down. Smith now to throw. Going right back to Smith and Jigba. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. Hand off here to Walker. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well. But when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him. And some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. Sticking with Walker on second down. They'll be brought down at the 21 after a pickup of four. They'll come up now, third and three. Now Smith. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. The pressure from multiple guys there as they bury him for a big nine-yard loss. Even keeping the back end for extra protection on third down, they still couldn't prevent the sack. Now it's fourth and long thanks to a terrific individual effort on defense. On comes the Seahawk kicker here on fourth down. It's Jason Myers. 
This will be spotted at the 37, so it's a 47-yard attempt. Myers' kick is good, and they get themselves on the board here. It's 10-3. So that's a seven-play drive that ultimately stalls out there at the end. And things were a little leaky in the beginning on that drive, weren't they? But how about the front seven? As they got closer to their goal line, things stiffened a little bit, forced the field goal. Myers now converted on the field goal try. Now he's on to kick it away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The time to get another look at this Cowboys offense. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. Short completion, just four yards, and that'll bring up second down. Oh, I see you nodding your head along with me, partner, because it's pretty obvious what they were trying to do there on the drag route. With his speed, they're hoping he can turn the corner and maybe take this to the house. But that was excellent work defensively to make sure once he caught it, he wasn't going anywhere. On the run, it's Dowder. And the defense closes quickly there, and he'll get maybe a yard to the 33. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else he'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. They'll come up facing third and five. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. They expect this from the visiting team when playing indoors, but not the home team. They're supposed to get all the advantages, right? The home crowd's supposed to help them. They forgot where they were, perhaps. On third down, it's Prescott. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll have it past midfield, almost to the 40, before being taken down. A first down and then some. Give him 29 yards. Ten three, our score after one here on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. Prescott off play action. This is caught. It's close and brought down, but not before they're inside the twenty-five. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. A first down throw for Prescott. Letting one go deep for the end zone. Oh, and that is incomplete. Tremendous field position there and a perfect time to do exactly what they did. Take a shot at the end zone. And they went for the big play, just unable to complete it. Now a second and ten. Here's Prescott. And his throw here is incomplete. That play call wasn't there for them against that coverage. So they're going to spin the dial now in their playbook and come up with one more shot at the marker to try and keep this series going. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. They'll throw again. Prescott. Eluding the pressure right. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. 
With nowhere to throw it, decided to scramble, and a nice job seat. He got the yardage that he needed. Yeah, and his teammates are certainly going to appreciate that effort, even if his coaches don't, because they would have wanted him to slide and protect himself. But he chose team gain over personal protection. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. The defense has been on the field a long time now, and after a run like that, they've got to feel like they're almost on roller skates and getting pushed backwards on just about every snap. From the four, it's second and a couple. Prescott. And his ball is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. Four yards on the touchdown, Graham. And the Cowboys have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Well, that route is really tough to cover because if they're running it correctly, you think it's really going to be a slant. Yeah, well, we talk all the time about how it's tough to execute offensively, but you're saying, don't forget, it's tough to cover for the defense, too. Yeah, the number one thing that you're taught is to not get caught inside or get beat inside. So you guard that a little bit more. So that gives you a little bit more space to operate outside if you start your move initially inside if you're a receiver. Aubrey good with a PAT. And the lead is now 17-3. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And coming out of the end zone, D. Eskridge. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. And out now come the Seahawks. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that <laughs> weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. That's a play to take note of there for the defense. I think in the future, if you're going to try and block him, Maybe you get a guard to help double-team him and try and steer him out of the play. They should have done it on that snap. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. The offense on third down, they've only converted once in four tries. This is third and 11. From the gun, here's Smith. And that is incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. It's going to be another frustrating end to a drive here. This offense, they've not been able to get anything going in this first half. And now it's going to be time to gather on the sidelines and try to figure out what's going wrong. Who has an idea? Who has a plan? Time to implement it. And here's Dixon to punt now as he gets this one away. Now a fair catch signaled for and made right about the 43-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return. Good starting position for the Cowboys here as they come up first and 10 at their own 44. Now Prescott. He's got to complete to Tolbert. Only able to gain a couple there at its second down. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. There he goes left side. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A first down there on a pick up of 25.
the gun. Here's Prescott. Able to hit his target land. And down inside the 15 he goes. Add the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. From the red zone now, Prescott. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Two first-half touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys take a three-touchdown lead. Aubrey now for the point after. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. Just a four-play drive that time. And it was finished off by a Jalen Tolbert touchdown grab. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. Eskridge going to keep this one in the end zone, and they'll start at the 25-yard line. And yeah, the Seahawks get ready to trot out on the field. They're down three touchdowns to this point, needing to put something together as they have it first and ten. Here's Walker to start the drive. And he'll get what he can up the middle. Three yards. That'll bring up second down. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Out of the gun, Smith. That's complete to DK Metcalf. That'll go for a gain of seven. And it'll be second down. Here's Smith. A yeah, quick throw there is incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Back to throw, Smith. Throw well, there, going to be incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Sometimes it's just not your day. There's another failure right there on third down. Now here's Michael Dixon as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Prescott now. Cooks on the quick slant. It'll be a gain of five, and that's going to bring up second down. What terrifies defenses when they see slant routes thrown is that the receiver is on the move and oftentimes he catches it and gets upfield. That's a really nice job rallying to him and stopping him for a minimal gain. Second and five. On play action, Prescott. Pressure comes, he's taken down by the Seahawks defense. Give the sack to Jerome Baker. 
Well, that's what they have to do more of defensively, not just getting sacks. We have to keep getting in his face, not let him get his feet set and deliver. He's been carving them up previously. Yeah, already has a couple of touchdown passes. About time they put a few grass stains on that jersey. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that's caught inside the 30. A big play here for Dallas. 52 yards. I'll tell you what, this is not going to be a fun discussion at halftime for this defense. They've been absolutely taken advantage of in the first half. And here's another play for big, big yardage. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. To throw is Prescott. Throw complete right side to Cooks. Touchdown! Three touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys are able to add on to their first half lead. When you're a great route runner, it makes you that much better as a receiver because now your quarterback trusts that you're going to be where he expects and he's able to deliver the ball on time. Aubrey now for the PAT. And that'll increase their lead to 28. A drive there of just four plays. And it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. Eskridge going to keep this one in the end zone, and they'll start at the 25-yard line. Here come the Seahawks now, set to take over on offense. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled-out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter? run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. On second down, it's Walker. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. The Seahawks on third down. They've had their troubles. Just one for six. This is third and four. Now Gino. Setting up the screen here. This is Walker. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. That gain on third down, good for 28. And that was a beautifully executed screen pass. They let the rushers get upfield and get the escorts in front, meaning the offensive linemen, other blockers out in front, completed the pass beautifully. So now you've got all that open space with big guys leading the way. Left side here taken in by Metcalf. So five yards here, five on the play, and it'll be second down. Straight ahead, Walker. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. Third and four. Gino now to throw. Complete. This Cowboy defense looked ready for that third down pass. Brings up four. 
serve. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs, able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. Here we go on fourth, Smith. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. And the drive stays in motion with a nice eight-yard pickup on fourth. They accepted the risk, and it was rewarded. What a catch on fourth down to create a first down situation. But one more time, what a catch. And what a catch. It was close, perilously close to a turnover on downs, but picked up the first. How about getting his feet down, though? That's for what. Oh boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. And Brandon, every running back wants to use their speed in order to get out in front of things. Sometimes you just have to be patient, let blocks develop. On that play, that didn't happen. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. A shotgun snap for Smith. That is taken in by the tight end fan. And they've got it inside the ten at the eight. That puts him in excellent position, first and goal after a gain of 19. And now at this point in the first half, you've got to realize as an offense, you're not going to get it all back in one fell swoop. This is going to be about sustained drives and making sure you finish with points. And that's a good throw there for a first down. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. On any passes in the middle of the field, anyone who's going after the football is going to be conscious that it's probably going to be contested, and often physically. Sometimes that leads to drops. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. Now to the ground, here's Walker. And he will score! Touchdown, Seattle! Ken Walker, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Seahawks are able to cut into that deficit. Now, this has been a one-sided first half to this point, no doubt, but at least signs of life here. They're on the board. Yeah, and I think if they went to the halftime down big with zero points on the board, it'd be a struggle to see them come out in the second half and play well. So very important, vital here. And if they make a huge comeback, we'll look back at this moment and point to the start of it. And that flag accepted. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. And we move to spotlighting Brandon Cooks. He's doing what he's capable of, having a solid game. Not, not the most amazing game. He's not over 100 yards, but a good game so far. And you just know that mentally, he feels like he's one catch away from turning it into a great game and starting on that road. And the defenders are well aware of that too. They've got to figure out a way to not let that escalate. Keep him right in this zone here and call it a day because otherwise he can really decimate them. Better believe they are well aware of his playmaking ability. So the incompletion and now it's second and 10 again from the 25 yard line. A running play, it's Dowdle. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle, and that's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Game clock sitting at 2.02, so they'll get one play before the two-minute warning. 
from the shotgun now. Here's an inside give. And a good job defensively. They stop him short of the first at the 32. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. That'll be a 48-yard punt, one yard on the return. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've gotten pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, play at the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. And now at this point in the first half, you've got to realize as an offense, you're not going to all get it back in one fell swoop. This is going to be about sustained drives, making sure you finish with points. And that's a good throw there for a first down. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Now a draw play. It's Walker. And he's got this one across midfield into Cowboy territory. Yeah, boy, here's a sight you don't want to see. Ken Walker injured on that last play. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Now a second and two. Now Smith. Buying time to his left. Taking matters into his own hands and he picks up four yards and a first down. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Now Gino on first down. He'll get that to Charbonnet. No gain on the play there. It'll be second down. That's a nice job defensively to make sure everyone was accounted for because ordinarily you pick up the guys downfield and sometimes you forget about the running back. In this case, they did not and dropped him for no gain. On second down, here's Smith. Smith and Jigba hauling it in on the out route. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 11 yards for number 11. On first down, it's Smith. That's caught over the middle by Fant. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Boy, everything clicking on this drive. He's 4 for 4 now, and that throw may be the best of the bunch. This offense is really humming, and they pick up another first down. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. From the red zone now, Smith going right back to Fant. And the Seahawks are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. Here's Smith. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Now with five seconds left, not really enough time to run another play and then stop it, so on comes the field goal unit. Myers' kick is good. 
So three points on the board, as easy a field goal as you're going to get, but I can see you shaking your head. I love that peripheral vision of yours, partner, because to me, if it's the fourth quarter and you're up six, I get it. But now, even if you run and don't get in, you're still setting them up to go a long field, 98, 99-yard drive. How do you look at your defense and not give them that opportunity? So with three seconds remaining in the half, they will line up to kick this one away. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. It was the veteran quarterback Dak Prescott who had it working in the first half. He lit up the sky with three first half touchdown passes as his guys were rolling in the early part of this football game. All right, coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Cowboys will get the football first here, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Cowboy offense set to go to begin this third quarter. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 right at the 30. They'll start this drive out on the ground. He's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. The way things have gone in this one, the running game's been something of an afterthought, and that's not been too bad for them, has it? Yeah, the offensive returns have been good, but I guess we figured he and the ground game would be a bit more involved. Line of scrimmage, the 24. This is second and six. Play fake. Here's Prescott. Able to hit his target limb. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. Prescott looks to throw on first. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Now a first carry for their fullback. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. On third down, it's Prescott. And that is caught at the 10-yard line. Touchdown, Cowboys! Dak Prescott now four touchdown passes on the afternoon as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. So another touchdown there, and even though we're still just here in the third quarter, kind of hard now to see them giving up this lead. And this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now. You name it, they're able to do it. If you're the play caller, whatever you want to select is there. You want to run it, you want to throw it, pick a play, any play. They're rocking and rolling right now. 
Now the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And they open the lead up now to 25. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Now we'll see what this Seahawks offense has in store with their first possession of the second half. A CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. Let's try to come back from a four-possession deficit. And partner, you know as that team gathers, they're saying to each other, you never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25-point lead late that wasn't enough to put someone away. But that being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. And bottom line is, it officially becomes impossible if this possession is an empty one. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Dwayne Eskridge, the intended receiver, third down here. Smith now to throw. I had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. And you can tell just by looking at him that this offense is a frustrated unit. Things are really unraveling here, and as a head coach, time to earn your paycheck. You've got to find a way to keep it together as that brings up another fourth down. Now Michael Dixon as he's on for the fifth time here today. Fair catch called for in May, but now we'll have to see about the penalty. That hurts. If it was running into the kicker, wouldn't be a first down. Roughing, it is a first. And just think about the differences between the two. Running into the kicker almost feels inadvertent, just a small tap, so to speak. But when you rough him, usually bodies are hitting the ground and flying all different places. And the difference is five yards or 15. And in this case, that's a big play. Second down and four. Out of the gun, Smith. They'll lock it with a grab over the middle. And Lockett going to pick up a Seahawks first down as he'll take this down inside the 45. Throwing now is Gino. This is Fan on the short completion. Second down in a yard. Now a play fake, and it's Smith. Left side, he finds Smith and Jigba. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 22-yard line. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. Smith on first down. This is the tight end fan. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll make it second down.
Again, Smith. And this will be caught by Brown. Just a gain of a couple there. And now we've got a third and four. Smith. That is caught. Touchdown, Seahawks. DK Metcalf. A 16-yard touchdown. And the Seahawks are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. So a very important first drive of the third quarter, Charles, and safe to say, a much-needed touchdown. Which leads to the question, where was this in the first half? Because if they'd had a few more drives like that, they wouldn't be in this situation. But that is the kind of drive that sends a message to the other side. We're going to be here, and we're going to battle you to the end. Extra point up and through by Myers. And that'll cut the lead down to 18. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And able to get this out to the 25. Brandon Cooks in the Cowboys offense back out there. He's been his typical solid and reliable self, hasn't he, Charles? When you have that go-to receiver that you can count on in the situation where you absolutely have to have him, there's nothing better for anybody who's throwing the football. But the best part is the payoff. Two touchdowns already. That's the bottom line when you throw the ball to a guy. Absolutely. Not over 100 yards right now, but he does have the two touchdown catches. Second down, eight to go from the 28. They run here with Dowdle. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. Third down and six. To throw is Prescott. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But we're used to seeing the guy that you consider the number one receiver double covered. But how about this guy? He's double covered and finds a way to make the play for a first down. That's how you increase your Madden rating, right? No doubt about that at all. And you know something? I think we'll hear about that from him soon. First down, Prescott. A short one there, taken in by Ferguson. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. But when you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, oh boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they're able to just run them in here. And that will wind up moving the chains again as the tackle is going to be made at the Seahawks' 27-yard line. They have certainly looked his way in this third quarter. Another catch, and it's good for a first down. Play action now, Prescott. Now throw right side here going to be incomplete. 
Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Second and 10 now from the 27. Prescott now. A short one there taken in by Ferguson. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Prescott from the gun on third. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And I'll tell you what, this offense is playing a little bit of keep away right now. They've come out here in the third quarter, possessed the ball for quite a while, and they keep on converting. Nice pitch and catch there to set up the first and goal. Oh, how about this on first and goal? And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. You got to be ready for anything when you play defense against this head coach. That is not something you'd expect to see here in the red zone, but it winds up getting him a few yards. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. Now Prescott. And his throw is incomplete. Down here in the red zone, you know your tight end is going to be a favorite target. Couldn't hang on. And sometimes they just have to get out of their own head because they understand how tight windows are there and how many bodies are there. And sometimes they just overthink it and don't catch the ball. A chance to really put this game out of reach. Here's third and goal. Prescott to throw it. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that will bring up an interesting decision here on fourth and goal. Whether you're playing West Coast offense or not, one of the maxims of the West Coast offense is you're either throwing a touchdown or a check down. In other words, look for the big shot, but be smart. And I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down, but they're taking care of the ball well. Yeah, and being rightly cautious with that lead here in the second half. So three more points tacked on, and this margin getting more comfortable by the minute. And with the lead where it is, you can actually feel good about field goals. We talk all the time about scoring sixes, not threes. But in this case, they're just looking to chew up some time and come away with points. So after the made field goal, that is Aubrey to kick this away. Eskridge going to keep this one in the end zone, and they'll start at the 25-yard line. Now the ball now going back over the Seattle Seahawks offense. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand They've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. That one good for 37 yards. Now look, you're not going to be able to get this all back at once, but that certainly helps. So you're saying three yards in a cloud of dust, not the strategy? I go aerial attack. Yeah, I think that's what has to happen. And if you're going to run it, you need to break off big chunks. We just saw a big play right there. They need plenty of those. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Play action. It's Smith. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. Marquise Bell. He's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. Oh, you can just see it in their body language. They're starting to see victory on the horizon now, and if it comes to fruition, they got to give a game ball to the front seven. Defensive line has taken charge and controlled this game. Face a challenge of stopping this opposing off. No, oh, it's out. Smith lost it. It's picked up by the Cowboys, and they will set up shop 
in enemy territory at the 42-yard line. That feels like an accumulation of the pressure we've seen all game. I mean, he's been on the turf a whole lot because of sacks. Eventually, something else happens as well, and this time it was a turnover. Yeah, caught up to him. Dallas offense set for this next drive. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Ball on the 39. Here's second down and seven. And now here's a carry heading left. And he's going to get this pretty close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Seahawks 33. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. The Cowboys on third down. They're hitting at 60%, six out of 10 thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. They run again with Dowdle. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. We ought to come up with a t-shirt and sell it that says, no indecision on third and one. And we didn't see it on that run, did we? Got his shoulders square, just got right into the line of scrimmage and picked it up. Absolutely. Picked his lane, went with it, and converted. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. This is second and eight. They'll try to throw now. Prescott. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Boye Mafe coming in hard there on the blitz, and he gets him seven yards behind the line of scrimmage. They tried to go with a little play action there, but nobody on the defensive side bit. Yeah, they adjusted in time and in a big way and ultimately got the sack on offense. Sometimes you're running play action just to set up a certain blocking technique. In this case, none of it worked. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. Not at all what they envisioned on third down, three yards in the wrong direction. Well, they certainly didn't appear to be fired up about their options throwing the football. So to me, this seems like a case of just kind of taking their medicine there, run the ball, see if they could pick up something. Instead, they were thrown for a loss. And he missed it. It's no good. And the lead will hold at three touchdowns. Well, they can probably live with that with this late lead in the fourth quarter. That's one of the few things that's gone wrong. You're exactly right. This one was well in hand. That kick there was more for cosmetics, you know, to add to their score. Not getting it, that shouldn't harm them at all. And out now come the Seahawks. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and ten. Geno out a throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. You know, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. Throwing on third down, Smith. And that 
will be incomplete. Give them credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Now on fourth down here, that pass knocked away and incomplete. Pete Carroll rolled the dice, but it didn't work out. And Dallas, they'll take over in terrific field position. Well, they've clearly made a conscious decision here to be more aggressive in the late stages of this game here in the second half. And I get it. In this situation, you know, if you want to be aggressive out near midfield, you feel good about your defense maybe, or just, hey, I thought I had a proper play call. But how about the guys that just stopped them? How good do they feel right now? Hey, you want to go for it here? We shut you down? They're over on the bench right now feeling great. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage, stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he will have a Cowboys first down by about a yard as they're able to convert on third and two. Well, partner, none of these runs individually have added up to a whole lot. Now three plays, all three short runs, but together a first down. Yeah, it's amazing how the narrative changes when you string them together. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there, second down. From the 31, here's second and six. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he winds up getting only a couple there, down to the 29. It'll be a nickel look here for the Seahawks on third down. Looking to throw, Prescott. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. They'll wind up losing a yard on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. In today's NFL, we're accustomed to the tight end getting downfield and creating plays and wreaking a little havoc in the secondary. Not on this one, though. They diagnosed that one really well. Tried the dump off, lost yardage. So on fourth down, Prescott off and on is Aubrey for the Cowboy field goal. It'll come from the right hash. It's a 47-yard attempt. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And that will extend their lead even further. So a good snap, good hold, and right down the middle. Never in doubt. Just the way you used to hit him, partner. You mean like uh, kicking the ball? Exactly. Well, that was in high school. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't care what level. You hit them, they go through. So after the made field goal, back out is Aubrey to kick this away. Eskridge going to keep this one in the end zone, and they'll start at the 25-yard line. And the Seahawks get ready to trot out on the field. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, 
They were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Now Gino. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. Tight end has become a bigger and bigger part of the passing game in the NFL. But if you drop the football, that position could get swapped out with a you know, wide receiver in that spot or running back in that spot. There are other ways they can go if you're not going to catch the ball. And that's not just his first drop, his second drop of the game. He's got his target. That's complete. Look at the big man rumble. Inside the 10. And all the way in. Touchdown, Seattle. Noah Fant. 74 yards and the Seahawks get a bit closer well that's pretty impressive Charles it's one thing to be an elite speed wide receiver and have all that yards after the catch into the end zone but from your tight end yeah you don't get that very often what you're describing is more like a Tyreek Hill a Devontae Adams and Antonio Brown you're not talking about a guy that lines up or can line up in line and look like an extra tackle on running plays he took that bad boy downfield just like he was a scat back. Before the game, he told me, I'm going to have a zinger or two today. And I was like, oh, a zinger or two? I guess that's a zinger, right? That's a zinger. After the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. Now a hit and a loose football. Oh, one of the linebackers has got it. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secured. A lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. First play of the drive. Excellent run, just sets up wash, rinse, repeat. Another first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Cowboy first down. The running game continues to be a big part of their success here early in the fourth quarter. And with those types of runs, that tells you they feel very confident in their running game. They feel very strong at this stage of the contest, and they want to keep doing exactly what we saw there, running the ball down their throat. A little bit of daylight on that first down run sets him up nicely, eight yards on the carry. Well, they'll take that every time with a lead first down fourth quarter, getting eight yards. You love that. They will take it, and you have to ask the defensive guys, why did you give it? I mean, you know the situation. You're down, have to stop them, have to get the football back, but eight yards on first down puts them back on their heels. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL, and he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time, so make sure you get in shape. And he's going to be a yard short. A two-yard pickup leads to fourth and one. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. And the move from Mike McCarthy is going to be to keep the offense on the field here on fourth down. They're going for it. 
From the shotgun, it's Prescott. He's letting it fly for Cooks. And that is incomplete. The Cowboys here unable to convert on fourth down. And the Seahawks are going to take over the football. So we were looking at each other up here in the booth when they went for that, saying, oh, wow, talk about trying to add insult to injury. Some teams are just like that. You know, some philosophies, some coaches are like, look, when I got a chance to put some more points on the board, I don't care what the situation, I'm going to do it. And they're also the same coaches as a general rule that if someone does it to them, you won't hear a peep of protest out of them. That's just who they are. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. The goal of anyone running a curl route is to make sure you try and get defenders on your back and shield them away from the football. But sometimes even when you run a good route, the defense finds a way to knock it away. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and 10. Now back to throw. They're complete to Smith and Jigba. Five yards, now it's third and five. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. From the 50, it's Smith. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone for the Seahawk touchdown. DK Metcalf, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Seahawks have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good, CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you kept them out of the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance. Myers connects on the PAT, and that'll make this now an 11-point deficit. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Cowboys are able to recover. The risk-reward of the onside kick, when you don't get it, the risk comes out to play, and here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything, because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them, and field position leads you to that type of play calling and whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep those types of things now that they've given up that type of field position the advantage is switched to their opponent lamb will go in motion now they'll fake it on the jet sweep and instead a handoff up the middle and not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run he gets maybe three and when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. They'll run it here. This is their fullback getting the carry. And he won't get close. Only a yard, fourth and three. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. So on fourth down, Prescott off and on is Aubrey for the Cowboy field goal. It'll be a 49-yard attempt from the left hash. And this one is right down Broadway. And that will extend their lead even further.
So after the made field goal, back out is Aubrey to kick this away. Eskridge going to keep this one in the end zone, and they'll start at the 25-yard line. So Geno and the Seahawks down by two touchdowns. A minute 52 to play. Field goals, useless at this point. They need two touchdowns, and they need them in short order. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Well, you know they're going to look his way in the two-minute drill, but that time he was blanketed, and they forced the incompletion. May need some teammates to step up in this spot. Another try, second and ten now. Here's Smith. And this one incomplete, threw it down at the feet of his receiver. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they've got to go and get it right here, right now. Well, this crowd is making an impact right now. Third and ten. Smith to throw. And that is incomplete. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. Here we go. This is fourth down. Smith's going to throw it. Gets this to Fan, and he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. He stopped to get it done, as you noted, and they did. Smith setting up the screen here. This is Walker. Good call there on first down, and Brandon, I'm getting better over the years and not screaming out, screen, screen, screen with my defensive training. They want to keep those pass rushers honest, and they did so there, and they wind up picking up positive yardage. Here's second down and three. Throwing now is Geno. Throw right side, taken in by Eskridge. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 33. And now a tip of the cap to the man under center, Charles. He just went over 400 yards passing in this ball game. He's got the touchdown passes to boot, taking pretty good care of the ball. Just all around a really solid performance. Yeah, just check, 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 and check, right? Because he certainly showed he was worthy of the trust that his team put in him. A handful of touchdowns to his credit thus far. Now he's just crossing off yardage milestones and win or lose. His name has to be in serious discussion for player of the game. Two timeouts remaining, but time is of the essence. Down two scores. It's first and ten. To the air again, Smith. Going right back to Smith and Jigba. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. Here comes second down at five. Now Smith. And that is caught, but the back judge right there to say incomplete. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shots. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. Well, this crowd doing their best to make a lot of racket. It's third and five. Back to throw, Smith. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Give it big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. The decision made for him. They've got to go. It's fourth down. Here we go on fourth. Smith. And he is caught. And he's brought down. 
What an excellent end result for them. But let's go back to the decision, first of all, to go for it all on fourth down. A lot of pressure on the quarterback's shoulders, but they knew he could handle it. Makes the right read there, gets the ball to his receiver. They get the first down. It's now first and goal. Here we go, first and goal. Now it's Smith. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. And let's face it, this defense has had its share of struggles all game long, and they know that they can put it all behind them if they defend well here in the two-minute drill. Excellent coverage right there to force the incompletion. Now second down in a few inches. Throwing again to Smith. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Well, this defense has been physical all game long, and it certainly looks like they're not going to back off and make things any easier. They want to keep making life miserable for the receivers all the way to the end. This crowd doing all they can. Here's third and goal. Out of the gun, Smith. And it's caught. He's got it for a late touchdown. But probably a little too late. It would take a miracle of epic proportions if they're going to pull this one off. Coming from where they were, they knew this was going to be tough, but they got the touchdown. Now they need the miracle, the onside kick and a little extra. Yeah, and you have to get the onside kick and not have the ball bounce around a lot and eat up time. You want to be able to grab it, possess it, and get your offense out there for what you just termed a miracle, a miracle. last chance. The extra point now coming from Myers. And that'll cut the lead down now to a touchdown. That one was an extended drive. 14 plays all told. And it was Ken Walker who finished things off for the touchdown catch. So with 14 seconds on the clock, they've got to go with the onside kick. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. They had to go for it with no timeouts remaining, though, now. This one's as good as over. They gave it an effort. They tried their best, did everything they could to try and get the ball on the onside kick. You're exactly right. They had to try it. It was their only option. And now this game is done. Just take it, kneel, and call it a day. Charles, normally when you see a group score this many points, it's a complete blowout. But instead, they needed every single one of those in this close, high-scoring affair. And Brandon, I'm still on the edge of my seat after that one because when you have that much scoring and it still comes down to a one-possession game at the end, that's not something we see very often. And in this case, these offenses, they brought it. The defenses, they're going to need some work going forward. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. It's a win for the Cowboys as we sign off and say so long from Arlington.